quiet for that. A very good afternoon to all the students and the professors present here. This is an hour of me. We all are aware of the announcement sent by Anandvisity at the beginning of this week about an open book test. Unlike other institutions, our college has taken a great initiative to enlighten us and lighten our burden and fear. Now, I would like to request our respected principal, Dr. A. Ramesh, to give us the welcome address. A happy noon to all of you. Dear respected Professor Dr. P. Nagabushan, respected and beloved Chairman Sri P. Sriram, dear faculty fraternity of Chennai Institute of Technology, and my dear students. On behalf of Chennai Institute of Technology and on my own behalf, I extend a very warm welcome to all of you for this wonderful program on how to face the open book examination. Dear students, you are all very well aware that very recently, Anonymity has announced that the ensuing end semester examination will be conducted in open book format. I think after reading that particular notification, a joy of moment might have been erupted in all of you. You might have enjoyed that sentence for after seeing open book examination. But the reality will be entirely different. Open book examination is not going to be that much easier. You cannot directly copy down from the textbook. The questions will be set in a such a manner that uh, you have to think, you have to apply, and then you have to answer. So since this is going to be a very new experience for you, not only for you, even for our faculty members, this is going to be a new experience. We thought of inviting leading academicians to tell about us how to approach the open book examination, how to prepare. Uh, before the examination, what type of preparation is essential? And also on the day of examination, how to effectively use the resources so that we can perform extremely well in the examination. So in that view, today we have invited a very senior academician, Dr. P. Nagabushnam, who is the director of IIIT Allahabad. So he will be interacting with us and he will give a glimpse about uh, the open book examination system. So on behalf of Chennai Institute Technology, I extend a very, very warm welcome to Dr. P. Nagapushnam. Sir, welcome, sir. I also extend a very warm welcome to our respected uh, and beloved chairman, C. P. Sriram, sir. Welcome, sir. I also extend a warm welcome to all my faculty colleagues and also my dear students for this program. I take this opportunity to make my request to all my students to listen to uh, our lex, uh, our guest, what uh, he's telling about the open book exam, and also you can interact with him to clarify all your doubts so that you can well prepare before appearing for the online examination. All the best and thanks for the opportunity. Thank you. Unmute, mute, Panik Mamanike. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Uh, now I would be very glad to welcome our chairman, Mr. P. Shiram, to uprise us. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. All the students and professor for uh, Mr. Nal Bhushnam, thank you for uh, joining with us. So, as you all are aware, we are in very critical situations. Again, uh, we are uh, undergoing second wave of uh, corona. Uh, there are a lot of changes online teaching learning, teaching learning process and assessments. It's a new experience for all of us. Anna University last semester they conducted the online examinations and uh, we, we are facing a lot of issues in declaring results with one, two, three like that, 30 withholds, different kinds of withholds and uh, yet to release results for all the students, for all subjects we are waiting. But next semester, already they, were, they, they declared that it, again it happened through online, uh, multiple choice questions. But uh, now they are coming out with the new, new assessment methods, o open test book. But, uh, it's a great challenge, like our uh, principal told. Open book test 
that it wants merits and demerits we must understand thoroughly i i'm I still feel we have enough time to learn to understand so that you can prepare very well for taking up the your examinations say like our principal everybody said everybody thinking that it's a simple you can uh, uh, see the book and write it's very easy no it's not easy say i have been telling again and again engineering is understanding the problems and developing solutions applying whatever you learned problem solving ability logical thinking this is very important like that this will this test will examine and assess your thinking capability problem solving capability and your creativeness and how you are approaching the problems or how you are coming out with innovative Stuck. It is stuck. Yeah, sir, has some network issues, I guess. Mm. Well, uh, sir, I think uh, some network issue for our chairman, sir. Uh, oh. Can I proceed with the yeah, next? Yes, Avantika, you can proceed with the, the, the introduction. Yes. Uh, yeah. uh, thank you, sir. And now I take pride in introducing an expertise in all fields of his work, outstanding academician and researcher, oh, award in appreciation of lifetime contribution to the field of computer science and engineering, outstanding academician award, award in appreciation of lifetime contribution to the field of signal and image processing. Sponsored project by ISRO on dimensionality reduction was regarded as the top project of the year and many more laurels. The most honorable guest, Professor Dr. B. Nagabushan, Director of Indian Institute of Information Technology, Allahabad, to address us on how to face this new normal kind of exams. A very good afternoon, sir. Shall I go ahead? Yes, sir. Yes, oh, okay, sir. Am I audible? The level audibility level is okay? Okay, sir. It's okay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. So, Sri Sri Ram, Honorable Principal uh, Professor Ramesh, and the person who started this bridging, Dr. Pannu Swami Dean, and Kumari Avantika, who is anchoring this program, uh, the faculty, naturally, they are all my colleagues also, all faculty over here, and all aspiring students over here in this institution good afternoon to all of you it is nice that i have been able to talk to you now today and particularly on a very very interesting issue called open book assessment i shall not call it as open book test or i shall not call it as open book examination i shall give you the reasons why i shall not like to call it as open book examination or open book test, but I shall call it as open book assessment. Later, I shall come to that. I shall divide my lecture into two different parts. Number one, some philosophical aspects of assessment. Number two, how one has got to cope up with open book situation. And then number three, I would like to interact with all of you and uh, Kumari Avatika will definitely be picking up the questions from all of you, your observations and your remarks from all of you and she will be passing them on to me and I shall respond to that so that I can keep the interaction more interactive. Let us keep the interaction as uh, more and more interactive. Already your Lagnet chairman has already mentioned that it is problem solving, logical ability, and it is the creative solutions which are very necessary in engineering. But on the other hand, what is happening? On the other hand, 
I mean, the, I'm not going to offend any teachers over here, but I could be shocked while I'm speaking. But then that is only for the benefit of teachers as well as for the benefit of students, I shall be shocked. On the other hand, what is happening? Our entire education system, right from school days, is within quote marks quite rotten. This is because you just imagine when you were an 8th standard student or ninth standard student, and particularly when you were 10th standard student, what was your mother telling you? What was your father telling you? And look at the institutions also, the schools also. I'm just getting back to the philosophical background. Look at the schools also. The schools also make useless claims and put useless advertisements, put useless flex in all the streets, put useless advertisements in all newspapers, telling that they are the people who are generating the ranks for the institutions, number one. Number two, these institutions also tell most interesting thing that they complete the syllabus latest by December and from December onwards till examination, they would revise. Revise what? What are they going to revise? Why should there be a revision? After all, most important is learning. Where is learning happening? If some institution can tell that I can complete teaching by December, then why these people, the government should set a syllabus which is meant for that entire semester or meant for entire year? What we have not been able to understand. We as parents also are so foolish that we like to put our children into such schools only, which claim that they complete the syllabus by December and the remaining part they keep on revising, revising. What a nonsense it is. There is absolutely no meaning when people tell that they have got to revise and this revision simply implies to enhance the marks. What is more important in life? Scoring marks or learning the subject? Naturally, if learning has been done, then everything is done. I shall start with a very simple example. Your honorable uh, uh, principal surely must be a married person. Do I understand that uh, Professor Ramesh is married? Yes, sir, of course. Yes, I'm Professor back. Ramesh is married. I'm now back. I shall conduct a small test upon him. Okay, sir. The small test is, hmm. how did your wife look at you for the first time when you happen to look at her for the first time? Very simple question. Does uh, it require any preparation? It, no, nothing, sir. No nothing. Preparation. And he must have seen his wife for the first time some years ago, not yesterday or day before yesterday. Yes, sir. He does not tell that I need the preparation. I got to go through the notes and then be ready with the, to answer this question. Yes, sir. On the other hand, he will definitely tell me, sir, what is the amount of marks awarded for this question? Is it a 20 marks question? Is it a 10 marks question? Is it a 5 marks question? Or is it a 3 marks question? Or is it a 1 mark question? Accordingly, I shall answer the question. That is the amount of perfection in the experience that he has got. So everybody, at the outset, I have got to mention to you, Learning has got to be an experience. Once you experience, then naturally to reproduce what has been experienced, you don't need any sort of revision. You don't need anything. But then surely Professor Ramesh, uh, you know, would definitely try to show me from his WhatsApp or show me from his collection of pictures from his mobile, those pictures which would be relating to his first meeting his wife. That is all. It's an open mobile. It is an open book. He wants to show that. He wants to justify that. She had looked at him with all love in her eyes. He wants to justify that. He wants to logically conclude that. He wants to logically establish that he was received very well from his, uh, from his wife at the first time. That's all. That is all is the open book. Here, book is the mobile, and that's what he wants to do it. So, there is nothing wrong with the open book test, but then he cannot show it from somebody else's mobile. He has got to show it from his own mobile. Therefore, 
the open book the book that you are using should be your own book your own property that is the uh, only uh, interesting point that i have got to make over here now point number 2 always people use very bad language very bad phrase when it comes to examination parents stupidly ask foolishly ask the question my dear child are you prepared for examination teachers ask are you prepared for the examination in fact teachers also do a wonderful mistake even in the class that after teaching some derivation particularly in engineering after teaching some derivation they will take a red pen mark a star mark on the white board and tell that this is important now the foolishness of learning foolishness of preparation starts from here that's what when a teacher tells this is important a student should definitely ask the question then do you mean to say sir whatever you taught till yesterday were unimportant then why did you make us to come to the class if they were unimportant why did you teach them at all you could have taught only the important things over eight classes or 10 classes and why are you wasting our time by telling only today's is important and then whatever i taught yesterday have not been important so this attitude of teachers telling that this is important is the downfall of our entire education more so our engineering education because as ever chairman tells engineering education is not understanding what is important because everything is important and everything is necessary and engineering mindset is totally different from just passing a stupid examination in fact examinations keep happening why it is it is not a big ritual it is just one happening which has got to happen so if students are determined that they have learned if students know that they have got to learn and if they have learned whatever the things which are required to be learned then and then examination conducted in whatever the form should not be a big issue at all the assessment conducted in whatever the form is not a big issue at all now i am not going to speak on very specific items like when i speak on national education program national education policy which has been introduced how assessment has got to be why it has got to be formative assessment why it has got to be, it should not be summative assessment i am not going to speak on all of them but i am now going to focus my attention only towards this new phrase which has been introduced in your university called open book now ever since i commenced my life ever since must be some 30 33 years ago ever since i commenced my life all my tests have been open book all my test questions always used to be not only open book it's also open library open library also anybody can collect the question and within one hour or within two hours they can roam around anywhere they like they can go back to their hostels they can roam around anywhere they like and they have got to produce the answers within in the given time limit maybe one hour maybe two hours maybe three hours there can be tests which could be uh, uh, take home examination which could be even for overnight also which certainly is open book certainly everything is open book when it comes to open book most interesting is you should have understood the entire content of that book that is where the first thing that you have got to be sure is which book are you going to carry for the examination it is not a dictionary it is not a google please understand that it is not a google search it is not a dictionary search it is a book it's an organized structured book therefore when a question is given that question is naturally going to test your competency in using this book as a source of reference as a source of material not as a source of guide not as a source of answer it is the book is not going to generate the answer it is not question and answer books like the ordinary books like some publishing house which tells a question and also gives anna university november examination question it is not that book it's a open text book a textbook a reference book which is going to give the material like a simple question could be or oh, look at the equation number 3.8 in chapter number 3 
And in this equation number 3.8, if some change is made, instead of substituting this, instead of substituting that, if I substitute this, what is going to happen to the derivation? What is going to be the end point? Which is definitely not available in the book. But then all that it tells is you need not by heart that equation. You need not by heart all those all those uh, things, right? Uh, when I was a master degree student, uh, for the first time in those days, assembly language programming, assembly language coding was also going to be asked in the examination. Then we said we are not going to remember all the assembly assembly language mnemonics. It has got to be given to us. All those mnemonics should be given to us, and then we should be tested on designing the algorithm. We should be tested on writing the program, not to be tested on remembering these mnemonics at all. So we convinced, and then uh, it was uh, done that, and whole a uh, whole uh, sheet of uh, assembly mnemonics were passed on to us. So that has got to be the spirit in the open book. So when it comes to open book, you should be very thorough. You should be very thorough with the book and therefore that simply implies that you have done the learning. You have got to be very thorough with all the chapters and all the contents and the learning has got to be complete in all respects. Now I shall give you a very simple example, like your own behavior. Even if it is not open book examination, honestly tell me, question yourself that have you not made it open book? Have you not written the equations on the back side of your uh, scale? Have you not written down the equations in some forum somewhere underneath your hall ticket in the pencil? Have you not written that? Why have you written them? Because you cannot by heart them. Because you also have felt that by hearting those equations, by hearting verbatim is useless. And after all, it is only for the examination purpose. And therefore, you venture making a book available for yourself by writing down them on the on the back side of the admission ticket, on the back side of the scale, or even on your palm, or even on your handkerchief, even on your hand. Well, these were all becoming open book. If these things could become selectively open book, then why should it not become a general open book so that you need not even remember all of them? Why should you remember the periodic table? Definitely tell me why should you remember the periodic table if it is a chemistry examination? Why should you remember all those equations in physics or all those equations in mathematics? Uh, why should you remember all those basic integrals, basic differentiation? Let them be all available, okay? Because ultimately, how you apply and how you solve the problem are more important. Therefore, when it is going to be an open book examination, be prepared that your question paper should not be as simple as a closed book examination question paper would be. In fact, if I were to be your vice chancellor, I would definitely make your life more miserable by conducting an open book test in such a way that the questions will not have any sequential approach. Like most of the time, what is going to happen is question number one is from chapter number one. Question number two is from chapter number two. Question number three is from chapter number three. And if there is any deviation, there shall immediately be a letter strongly recommended by the principal of the institution that it is out of syllabus or out of pattern. That is not going to happen in an open book because in an open book examination, the question has got to be solved by applying the knowledge of several chapters together in solving one problem. Therefore, the entire material would be made available to you, but organizing the answer has got to be done by you and organizing an answer can be possible only when you know where the contents are available. You cannot go into content sheet or you cannot go into index sheet and then find out what is the definition for that. And in an open book test, at least the foolish questions like define the following, uh, state and prove the theorem, such questions will never be asked because after all, it is already available in the textbook. It is not copying business. It is not cut and paste. If it is cut and paste, along with the open book examination, Xerox machine can also be provided next to your site so that you can Xerox that portion and attach it in your answer book. So that is not going to be the case. You should be very clear about that. Okay. So open book is not an examination. It is an assessment. Open book is that the whole library, whole material is available to you. But then 
the whole indexing of the material has got to be done by you by your intelligence and that can be possible if and only if you have understood the entire course entire subject this is where the role of the textbook and the role of the particular book becomes very important and this is where your university and your institution also has got to take a call which book has got to be recommended because uh, people uh, can refer different books and of course all the books will convey the same philosophy but the problem is the notation and the organization of the book shall be different and that should be avoided at least at the BTEC level examination. Of course at the MTEC level examination open book means open library also it should be in any, any, any form. So please recollect one simple question which I started with like a very simple test that I gave to your honorable uh, principal for which he straight away admitted that of course I need a mobile to show to give the proof I don't need any preparation time because I have experience therefore experiencing is the most important in open book number two I also said that you also either wantingly or unwantedly or compulsion most of you would have done this mistake of writing down a small formula on your nail and uh, many of us grow the nail at the time of examination longer so that you can write longer equations on the nail very powerfully, very uh, interestingly. So some of them, or even in Chennai, though it is summer all the time, people wear full arm sweater during the examination time so that the whole library could be under the sweater's arm, the entire stretch of the arm you would have written down the equations. These are all, if people can do that, why should not be why that whole source of material itself should not be provided to you and ask the question which don't rely upon the memory but relies upon your problem solving capability so now coming to the conclusion open book does not depend upon the questions which are memory oriented like most of the question papers that happen now come back as I was mentioning, I started the whole story with your school education and your teachers and your institutions would always have told you, have you solved old question papers? If solving the old question paper is the method of learning, then why did you need textbooks? Then why do you need teachers? Then you need only notes. All right. You need only those uh, guides which are printed, which are available in Mount Road. OK, so that is not the whole purpose of learning. The learning has got to be to understand, to be strong in the foundations and apply the foundations to solve the problem, which definitely requires your brain, not even the book. But then the books will provide the necessary material to organize the answer, the necessary equations, which need not be by hearted, uh, necessary mathematical model, which need not be by hearted. Okay. So this is the whole essence of uh, open book examination. But then please note that. It is open book examination, but it is not open neighbor examination. Therefore, you should be busy with your open book only. You should not try to see what the neighbor is doing, into which page he is going, into which chapter he is going, because you will be just wasting your time in finding out what the hell he is doing, which question is he answering. Why should you be worried about that? It is your job. It is your book. And it is your question paper. That is what you have got to focus upon. That is all. Okay. Now let us uh, come to the real life. Most of the real life are always open book. Uh, you look at uh, the court. In the court scenario, when the advocate is pleading, do you think uh, he will always de deliver the extempore tax? Will he not make use of the books? Will he not open and read it? Will he not uh, present the papers? Will he not read those papers? So these are all open book. And after all, the advocate comes prepared for pleading, comes prepared for argument. And at the course of argument, he will not just close his eyes and keep you know, uh, reproducing whatever he has by heart. It cannot be done. He would have written down all the points and he would have written down the reference material also. He would have even put in the check-in papers over there and the pointers over there. And he will open that, read it and present it before the court, present it before the honorable chair, which is naturally an open book. And you should understand if an advocate every day is a day of examination because he has got to do very well. Otherwise, if it does commit a mistake over there, the decision could go wrong. 
So that's an open book. Let us see what, what would your doctors do. Your doctors definitely will go home or go to the library and look into the lab book, look into the treatment, look into the formulae, look into chemical, chemical uh, material, chemical salt, look into their equation, look into their structures, only then they decide the prescription. And they have got to do it open book. It's not everything cannot be memorized. But of course, with practice, when the life gets into practice, and when you become more and perfect by practicing, then automatically everything would get remembered. It is not memorized. It is remembered. Okay. Memorizing is entirely different. And automatically remembering is entirely different. Remembering comes out of experience, whereas memorization is compulsorily forcibly you are trying to load into your memory the contents and produce an image output which is certainly wrong which cannot happen in an open book examination so you should understand that's the basic difference between the open book examination and a closed book examination in fact closed book examination is very very simple because naturally the question paper setter will always set the question paper for an average student and an average student has got to answer the at least four or five questions at least he should get 50 or 60 marks that's what is going to be the intention of any paper setter therefore it will not be a big issue but when it comes to open book naturally any paper setter would look into how to extract the content how to he not certainly not cut and paste it is not like our primary school days where teacher used to tell come to question number one go to paragraph number one start put a opening paragraph after the second sentence and put the closing uh, closing uh, you know close it after five sentences that is the answer for question number one now let us go to question number two it will not be like that it will be interpretation it will be totally different uh, for example, it could be a question like, let us say, I mean, though it's not relevant for an engineering student, uh, yet uh, I would uh, give so that all of you could understand that, uh, like, uh, uh, you know, that uh, M.G. Ramachandran was a very successful and a very powerful uh, chief minister in your state. Uh, but uh, originally, originally, he is not from your state. You know that. Like uh, today, Rajini Khan's name is going very high in your state. But you know that uh, originally, Rajini Khan is not from your state. Now, if the question is, had Rajini Khan not become a big film hero in Tamil, had he continued in his own state, say in Maharashtra, what would have happened to him? Which textbook will give you the answer for you? It will tell about Maharashtra, it will tell, describe about the ambience of Maharashtra, it will also have described the ambience of Tamil Nadu, ambience of Chennai, it will describe the people like Rajni Khan, how, how did he, uh, how did he come up, how, what did he do, so all these descriptions are available, but all these descriptions put together, now you have got to imagine, had he continued in Maharashtra, what would have happened to Rajni Khan, which no book would give straight away the answer. That is the type of question that you are going to answer. So when you are going to answer the question, your imagination capabilities will become more important. Your problem solving capabilities would become very important. So you should not be afraid about the open book examination. But at the same time, you cannot take it as casual as you are thinking. Like I understand from the words of your honorable principal that you are assuming that it is going to be very easy it is uh, it is more implied the, see in a open book test the answers are more implied and you have got to write the more implied answers than which are explicitly printed in the textbook that is where the whole uh, uh, question would be different whole question is entirely going to be different okay oh uh, well then i do not know what are your levels like uh, i could uh, I, I, there can be two algorithms uh, if you are uh, if many of you are computer science people, I can tell that there are two algorithms or two programs which are being uh, which are going on, and both the uh, algorithms or both the course are available in let us say in one of the book which has been considered as an open book for you. Now the question is entirely different. Suppose these both algorithms are aborted halfway through. Suppose these course will take let us say ten seconds for the complete execution 
and i forcibly abar stop both these algorithm execution of both these algorithm after let us say 5 seconds which is 50% of the time and if i am able to trace whatever these codes have executed then what are the things which are executed by these codes what are what is the nature of answers what is the nature of uh, the internal storage then what is that it is stored internally these are the types of question which no book can give you the answer obviously both the books will give you the code uh, but it is not going to help you in any any form therefore <clears throat> what is very important is please stop thinking that you have got to prepare for the examination and i have got to tell very strongly that teachers also should not prepare the students for examination but on the other hand the whole focus should be upon learning and upon understanding if learning and understanding is done if both of them are done very well then answering reacting remarking and responding to any question would automatically become the question of intelligence and that is all is the act of intelligence so the act of intelligence is the uh, it should be the performance index that has got to be measured and it is not act of uh, memory memorization memory naturally it is repeated looking into the book would make you to remember that this is available in this chapter in fact uh, some people are so strong enough to tell that this is available in section number so and so also but it is not memorization please understand that it is the experience it is it is remembering <coughs> after the repeated use of the book and repeated exposure to the book that's all but then uh, that does not mean that you have got to repeatedly keep uh, through going through it because that would happen over the time it cannot happen uh, just a night before the preparation always ends up in preparing only one week earlier only one uh, one month earlier one week earlier one day earlier these things will not help you if it is a open book test or open book examination whatever you have learnt over the entire semester at least over three months in the concrete form would definitely become the total material uh, for you so assessment uh, cannot be very very assessment is very important and it, it cannot be based on your whatever you have memorized please note that so preparation is one bad word which all of us use and we always prepare them for people in fact uh, those were the days when national board of accreditation had just then started and these engineering colleges were those were the days when they were adopting the semester system and then i used to go as a expert to some of the institutions in chennai and in many institutions they would tell sir we conduct a preparatory examination also and nonsense it is in <laughs> can engineering uh, studies have a preparatory examination so this is rampant at the 8 standard level 9 standard level 10 standard level plus 2 level and of course uh, when you take up the je examination etc you will undergo the preparatory examination there is a factory called quota to do that okay all people do this in the tutorial the preparation the you know if this is not going to solve the problem with this open book examination because it is not preparation you know, which uh, amounts to that it is learning learning is entirely different from preparation it is your intelligence it is your capability which is going to be measured which is going to be assessed here in an open book uh, test the questions will be uh, different had i spoken about only computer science i would have given you very interesting questions like i will give you still i would like to give a very very generic question like all of you know what is sorting sorting is arranging the material either in ascending order or in descend order, descending order of course a lot of books um, books will give you different uh, algorithms different codes for sorting you know selection sort you know quick sort whatever it is whatever it is so some of you might have done heap sorting some of you then would have done a lot of things now my question is very simple all of you including the teachers try that my question is i want to sort in such a way that the first 50% of the material should be sorted in ascending order and the remaining 50% of the material should be sorted in descending order 
in other words the largest number after sorting should appear in the middle of the list not at the end of the list like as we expect either at the starting end or at the ending end this is the question this is the textbooks which they describe but my question for a open book examination is design an algorithm present a code c code or whatever the code c++ code or whatever the code write a code which will do the sorting in such a way that the elements are sorted in the ascending order for the first 50% and in the descending order in the second 50% so that the largest element appears in the center of the list but not at the end of the list so this is the question start thinking why do you need a open why do you need a of course you need a book to copy that portion of sorting you don't need to you know reproduce the sorting algorithm but then how do you apply to work out a new sorting method i will give you another simple very very simple question which is again a open book test now when you when i mention sorting naturally you know that there will be only one material given either i have got to sort all of you in the alphabetical sequence of your name or i have got to sort you and the age wise or i have got to sort you marks wise therefore there is a primary key all the time available but now i will give you a very interesting problem let us assume that there are cartesian coordinates there are samples there are points which have got two coordinates x and y there are two coordinates x and y is it okay uh, listen to this carefully now so you carry any analytical geometry book you like you carry any computer graphics book you like you carry any mathematics book you like okay but then listen to my question these x y coordinates are the vertices of a hexagon or a polygon in general but make the problem very simple these x y coordinates i shall give you six such points six such points having x y coordinate and these six coordinates are the six vertices of a hexagon but are not given in the traversal sequence of vertices in a continuum sequence of the vertices they are given in a random sequence the vertices are mixed up the first vertex second vertex third vertex is not given in that way now you sort all the samples which contain both x and y coordinates such that the sorted sequence should be the traversal sequence of all the vertices okay you take up any textbook you take up any you you will do it you solve it all right and the one who has common sense the one who has the knowledge how to apply the knowledge available in the textbook to solve the problem will only be successful and the one who wants to make a photocopy of the textbook uh, cannot be successful at all that you have got to understand so that's the uh, interesting uh, question now let us see how your professors teach in the class how your teachers teach in the class will they close the book and start teaching will they uh, will they not make use of the books so if teachers can make use of the books while teaching for an effective teaching then uh, naturally all students should also enjoy looking into the books at the time of examination and answer the question by extracting the knowledge by extracting the content which cannot happen for the first time sitting in the examination hall you cannot do it for the first time at all you should have a full hold on the content of the book and only then that's going to happen finally you understand one most important thing what is after all testing or what is after all examination please listen to me carefully examination is not on the day of examination but it is up to the day of examination so what will you do up to the day of examination learning learning the content learning the entire textbook that's what is going to happen at the end up to the day of examination and once you have learned the knowledge is so much embedded within you and the intelligence is yours so the knowledge plus intelligence will solve the problem on the day of examination particularly when it is a open book examination so this is what is uh, most important therefore what open book examination finally expects is how much are you aware how much are you updated how much are you knowledgeable how much are you organized 
what is that you have sequenced how have how well have you sequenced whatever you have learned and how well can you respond to an unknown question that's all that is all and that's not a big issue i'm sure uh, you can uh, definitely understand the difference now between an open book examination and a closed book examination closed book examination is a memory testing it is no creativity absolutely no creativity has been there in a closed book examination whereas open book examination if you are original if you are uh, creative if you are capable if you are naturally intelligent you will be extraordinarily successful thank you very much and i would uh, now pick up the questions and then respond to the questions well then uh, uh, you, you people were also telling me about mcq multiple choice questions i'll just give you one small joke as a small anecdote there was an examination there was a multi choice question paper which was given to the candidate and then the candidate uh, uh, handed over the answer book uh, within half an hour after the examination was over after the examination was announced after the question paper was given the the room invigilator was surprised how he could complete answering the questions within half an hour uh, then he asked why can't you revise then he say he sat he sat down and he started revising and then he came back and he just handed over the answer book again and said i cannot revise why i am getting all wrong answers i am getting all different answers then the uh, room superintendent asked him what did you do did you at least read the question no sir they were all multiple choice question i took a coin and i tossed if the toss is head i decided the answer should be in the first two and if the the toss is tail i decided the answer should be in the next two so there are four choices given so first choice will decide the first two are the second two and the next two, uh, toss will decide the right answer so i decided the answer like this and uh, i did not read therefore i there is no need to read at all it is a multiple choice question uh, therefore uh, the choice is uh, by toss i have decided by choice so that's what is going to happen to multi multiple choice question and uh, even such people also can comfortably pass in multiple choice question because even if you randomly tick also most of the time you should at least get 33 to 35% very easily unless you have a very uh, wonderful trick of choosing all wrong answers okay so uh, well then the new things are happening new the uh, india is now open a new national education policy has been happening you are on the threshold you are going to witness some all, all such changes surely you are also going to be the samples for experimentation also but then when you are the samples for experimentation people who are conducting the new experiment will also be sympathetic about you so it is always good to be in that batch where experimentation is going on because at least people would be sympathetic they will understand you but then open book examination please make it sure that you have the hold on that particular book which you are going to take for examination otherwise the first time reference at the time of examination first time going through the content which and content uh, uh, portion and extracting the answer will not answer because your book is not a source of google search you don't have a google search on your book and you don't have an interface which will do a google search on your face to extract the content but you should be aware of the content and how to apply the content has got to be more important therefore you know, with this i am not really terrorizing you i am very happy that you are going to enjoy the open book examination because learning happens on the day of examination while you are answering the question also but whereas in today's closed book examination absolutely no learning would happen on the day of examination it is only memory reproduction it is only printing io that's all and no processing would happen in the examination and for the first time with open book examination your brains will start processing all the best enjoy and we have got to get tuned to the new ways and as i told you right from the beginning of my career i always conducted the open book tests and open book examinations even today at triple h alhabad it is totally open library take home you know let them give the answers after three hours after four hours we are not worried at all okay all right thank you very much and i would be picking up some specific questions and let us respond to the specific questions both from teachers and students Yeah, uh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you.
Regarding the question, I think one uh, sadhana has uh, asked how to manage time while writing open book test. You need not manage the time. It is a uh, headache of the paper setter because paper setter has got to set such questions that it should be answerable in the upper time limit, which has been uh, given, uh, decided by the university. If it is a two hour examination, an average student will definitely take not more than one and a half hour. That is how they would decide. But then you should be, you know, you should be very well responding to your textbook as well as to your skills. So you don't need to answer any question. So uh, naturally, you have got to go with the intentions. If 100 marks, if there is a question paper for 100 marks, and if the total time available is, let us say, three hours, what is the total time? 60 into 3, 180. So 100 marks. So roughly, you have 1.8 minutes for every uh, mark and that is how you have got to plan. You have got to plan like that and surely you should not consume all three hours. You should plan to complete the answers by two and a half hours itself. But it is not you. It is the question paper setter's job to ensure that even an average student would be able to complete all the five questions provided he, is, provided he has learned the content provided he is aware to answer the questions in two and a half hours. That is all. You need not worry about that. But then you cannot overspend on a particular question because of your lack of knowledge. In such a case, when you are getting stuck, you immediately leave that question and go to the next question and come back to the tough question only towards the end. Okay. All right. Uh, then one more student has asked on seeing the question, what must be the first thought to answer to that question? No, you should not immediately answer the question. You must organize the answer. What does the question expect? What is the answer expected? And from where should I pick up the supporting material for this answer from the open book? Which are the material? Which have got to be the organization? In which sequence I have got to put the answer? How should I solve this numerical? How should I substantiate this theoretically? How should I substantiate with a proof? All these things should be organized and you should not start answering. You should start organizing. You should note that you have got to well, uh, well spent two minutes before answering the question is what is planning. Planning and execution is more important. You should understand that even at the time of examination, you should not be perturbed. You should organize the answer, not reproduce it from memory. Okay? Yes, sir. And another question as a student has asked, sir, what about practical examination? Okay. In fact, uh, this analysis has to come out. Analysis yes. said that only for theory, they are Perfectly. going to be open book. After all, your chemistry, chemistry practical examination is already open book. Because people, teachers themselves will give the procedure to be conducted, yes. isn't it? All titration procedure will be given to you. It is an open book. So even physics practicals, engineering practicals should also become open book. Let the books be open. Let you design the experiment to prove something, right? That's yes. what you've got to do. Good. Yes, sir. Okay. Another, another student, Nafis, he has asked, my question would be, uh, few effective methods to learn for your open book assessment. Oh, you know, again, don't get the preparation. You focus on learning what is expected. Don't prepare. Don't try to, uh, you know, uh, don't try to annoy. Don't try to uh, come out, uh, you know, and uh, uh, tell that uh, you can score maximum. You have got to show that you have learned. If learning has got to be done, there must be a philosophical hold on the subject. So only then you can surely answer, okay? Uh, you cannot just prepare to maximize your marks, okay? Marks happens. It's a byproduct. That's all. It should not be the main uh, question of concern. The main question of concern is, have you learned it? Have you understood it? Without understanding, don't proceed further. Just, just don't by heart. Just don't take it for assume. I mean, just assume. Like most of us, most of the students who do that, if they cannot understand, they simply try to buy heart it. That is not going to be possible in an open book examination at all. Okay? Yes, sir. Sir, one Mr. Varun. Yes. Uh, sir, the as a network I'm issue, sir. Uh, uh, can I uh, continue? Yes. Actually, uh, there was this uh, question like uh, AU has allowed us, university has allowed us to use the internet. Uh, do you think it will change the course a bit and favor the students more? No. 
it all depends upon the type of question papers internet could be used internet for answering the questions or internet for googling internet for yeah. answering the questions isn't okay, it sir. internet for answering okay all right i mean of course you cannot do the cunning business that's all you have got to be very prompt and you have got to be very sincere you should be ethically bound okay and any cunning cannot happen because time is not enough for you for the first time to search the answer okay because the questions will not be that clear okay it will not be state and prove newton second law it will not be state and prove thermodynamic second law it is not that okay Uh, the questions will not be that uh, uh, that very ordinary like you would have expected in a by heart you in a memory oriented memory based examination. Okay. Yes, sir. Kuntika, uh, any other question is there or that's all? Actually, there is no question in the chat box, sir. But I have one doubt. Yeah, please you ask. Yes, Avantika. Uh, sir, actually, they have asked to stick us with only six pages, sir. Yes. And in the first page, we have to write uh, two marks, and in the uh, all the five pages, we have to write eight marks. Yeah. Okay. So that is how uh, they have given us the protocols. But uh, yes. we don't know how the question paper is going to be. Yes. We don't know how the questions will be. Okay. But uh, if I stammer and uh, if I uh, if I score out again, uh, I have to be writing it from the beginning, no sir? Like why they have uh, restrained it to only six pages? Is there any particular reason for that? Ha ah, yeah interesting see that is what see time what is time let magnitude. time is a magnitude and time that magnitude what is your writing speed what is the average writing speed average writing speed is converted into number of pages and number of lines that you are supposed to write the answer therefore they always set the questions in such a way that the number of lines expected for the answer is almost pre known that's all you cannot exceed that if you are trying to exceed so many lines naturally you are not understood the topic you are not concise that's simple as simple as that okay sir okay actually anonymity has given the question paper pattern sir based on that only that the student has asked this question okay yes say it is of two marks so five yeah. questions will be there for 48 yeah for two marks how long you, you remember the question i asked professor ramesh yes sir you asked me the question sir whether it is a two marks question or a one mark question or a five yes, marks question or a 20 marks question yes sir the same question for be anything question right. could be same but if it is 20 marks you have got to write let us say five pages hmm. all right yes. okay Time. See, these are all three interrelated. Time, time to answer the question. How much duration do you require? Number one. What is the marks magnitude of marks? Quantification. And number three, what will it convert itself into number of lines or number of pages? Which depends upon the average writing speed. All right. And it is not writing speed. It is organizing the answer. some questions require only two lines of answer but you need to invest two minutes on thinking the answer all right so definitely a question paper setter thinks how much time is required to organize the answer which means how much time is required for him to think the answer derive the answer organize the answer and put it in two lines or put together the time will be decided that is how a question paper setter works okay they are all experienced intelligent people they look into all these parameters is that okay yes yes okay yeah yes uh, avantika if there is uh, no more question you can conclude i'm yeah, sure okay. if teachers don't have any questions i would have expected some questions from the teachers yes teachers uh, yes sir no question from them i think okay okay <laughs> all right nice nice okay okay Yes, sir. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Uh, thank you very much for spending your valuable time with us and uh, helping us to gain confidence in facing our. Uh, it was a very uh, great pleasure listening to you, sir. You should all be confident. You should do your best and leave the rest. That's all. Why should you be worried? You should learn. You should understand. Once you have learnt and understood, once you have experienced, nothing is going to prevent you from being successful. you have got to be successful there is no question for unsuccess at all okay there is no you cannot be unsuccessful you have got to be success
Sir, as network issue. Uh, okay, you can uh, conclude, uh, Mr. Antika. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, so I told I. So sir's back. Yeah. So can we conclude it? Sure, you can. You can. Uh, thank you very much, sir. I'm ending the live. Thank you very much. It was a nice opportunity. I could enjoy speaking to all of you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.